So, uh, this talk is about VLMC. Uh, just as this is my first talk uh, as part of a VDD or full-length full talk, uh, just a quick introduction. I'm Hugo. Uh, I'm like 29 years old. I live in Paris, la la la. I'm a Video Labs secretary also, a Video Labs employee, and I've been in the community for, I guess, around eight years or so. Uh, and I'm the oldest active uh, VLMC developer, and that also means um, like six months ago, I was the only active-ish developer. Uh, so, a bit of history about the project. Uh, this is a picture taken during the, I think, a school presentation, like for end of studies project, uh, which I half shamelessly I'm showing to you. Uh, you can probably recognize at least one uh, person, Ludovic, who's still also a member of the community. And I don't hear, oh yeah, he's here. Uh, so, uh, in 2008, the project starts, it's a cool project, everything goes well, we go fast, uh, well, like we're motivated and all, yay. But in 2010, we graduate and we kind of lost our interest in the, in the project, so it slowly dies. But in 2010, we have a GSOC slot, so we have a new developer who's sponsored by Google, so the project starts leaving again, and all is great again, and except no. In 2011, uh, GSOC is over, the guy starts working on some other stuff, so did I, and the project dies again. But in 2013, we set up a hackathon to start, like, to try to revive the, the project. And it partially worked, except no, not really. And <laughs> it, it allowed us to do a bit of refactoring, to think about some stuff, but at this point, we also agreed with Felix that we needed a media library to basically present you the media, and then I went on to work on that media library, and uh, I'm still not exactly done. Uh, but now, in 2016, we have a few GSOC slots, three to be precise, which helped us a lot restoring the project. Uh, and before uh, tackling into, the, um, into what GSOC brought us, um, just a quick, like, I don't know, preview of what the project was in the early 2016. It's basically a zombie project because it's like it's alive and then it dies and it's alive again. It works sometimes in some specific cases, specific conditions, but most of the time it just doesn't really work. It crashes or just doesn't work. Uh, video is out of sync. Just it's not functional. It's, you, you cannot name that a functional editing software. It doesn't make sense. And also, it's student code, and sometimes student code can be nice, but sometimes, uh, since it was a project for school and we have like reviews and a grade, well, sometimes you just take a bit of liberty with clean codeness. So the code was partially awful, sometimes. Um, <clears throat> and well, since we had no developers, uh, no activity, there's nothing that kind of, I don't know, make you want to work on it. It's just, it's there, and if I don't start working on it again, it's just not going to go anywhere. So, like, there's no inertia and not really any motivation to do it. At first, we had a lot of interest showed into the project, uh, but, well, if you don't do anything for so long, you just, well, nobody cares anymore at some point. Um, so, as I said before, there's not really any developers, so, well, plonk. The project is moot, basically. Uh, but this changed uh, not so long ago because we were part of GSOC 16, uh, 16. So we had three slots, which helped us a lot. Uh, so we had three new developers. Uh, two of them are present here, Pavel and Pavel. And we also have another student who cannot, uh, who couldn't attend, and which is a shame, but, well, school and all. Um, so we had like three topics. Uh, one is to be able to uh, upload or download files to and from the cloud. Uh, so we have a new library called libcloud storage, which is going to help us, for instance, if you want to push something on your, I don't know, Google Drive or, or to just name it because it handles quite a bit of storages. Um, so you can do that. Uh, one other project was to start basing ourselves on MLT instead of trying to do all the synchronization uh, ourselves, which was a great idea because it well, now it works quite a, quite a lot more. Uh, so one of the projects was to have a VLC uh, producer and consumer to be able to pr create, well, produce frames and send them to MLT, and also to be able to display something that MLT gives us, because VLMC is still supposed to be kind of a showcase of what, labels, of, um, what VLC can do. So it, it makes sense for us to integrate VLC in it. And the next project, the, the third project was to 
kind of split, properly splits the UI and the backend uh, because we want to, to do a bit more than just uh, um, an editing software, but I'll get more on that a bit later. And this project just ended up being rewriting most of the code, removing so many lines of code. It hurts a bit my feeling because most of it is my code, but it's, it's, a, it's, a, great, uh, it's a great move uh, in, the, in the right direction. Um, and since the project started leaving again a bit, well, we started having more emails, more people inquiring, so what's up, what's happening, uh, is it going to be released, uh, I'm really interested in that project, so I kind of need that project, so I'm looking into something which is open source, which is easy to use. Um, so now, I mean, there's a reason for us to keep going. Um, it, it just it makes you want to do it. Um, but also now, I mean, it starts to be a functional software. It's possible uh, to a certain extent to to create a video with this with this tool and that's a huge change compared to like I don't know three four months ago so I mean it's also like a really great move in the right direction we have less code and it's cleaner which is also um, most of the time it's a good thing and since I'm working at video labs I also get a bit of time which is which I can be paid for um, to work on GNMC, and that's just, that helps a lot. And so did the GSOC. I mean, if it wasn't for the GSOC, the project probably would still be dead, or very, very slow. So now that we have something which is working, more or less, or definitely going in the right direction, what's gonna happen next? Um, we want to support more platforms. Right now it's, uh, well, it's working, it's definitely, well, it's working easily on Linux, because it, that's the main development tool we use. It's working-ish on macOS. It's still a bit hard to build, um, but I'm not going to troll on that yet. Uh, we want also to support something which is, uh, well, some platforms as in uh, mobile platforms, uh, just to be able to do a quick editing on your phone or tablet. Uh, also, we would like to be able to have something like some web, some, yeah, web platform to do that, so you can go on a website, Using the cloud storage library, you can import your media from somewhere, and then once you're done producing, uh, the backend, which is running somewhere, uh, is going to upload that to your cloud storage, and you have your edited video. <coughs> so, um, we want to support more use cases. Instead of just having one interface, uh, which is fairly similar in most uh, editing software, I, I, would, I would think, uh, we would like to have, I don't know, like an easy mode with uh, kind of like the um, Windows Movie, uh, I don't remember the name of the software, but the, um, basically instead of having a timeline, you you have just a line, uh, no no, uh, no multiple tracks, just you put a video, and then you automatically have a transition which gets added, and then you put another video, and it's really easy to use, and it works great if you just want to show your vacation movie. If you want to do something more complicated, then you can have a different UI which allows you to do more. And that's something we're really looking forward to, and that also was part of uh, the third DigiSoft project I mentioned before. And hopefully at some point we gotta have a release, because we released the 0.1.0 0 .0 in 2009 or 10, and I wouldn't recommend using it. Um, so I guess that's it. Uh, I still have 47 seven seconds left, so if you have any questions, uh, yep. um, I can do a demo later, if you want, but I'm not sure it's ready for a big screen demo. Uh, I don't want to take too, many, too much changes. Um, sure, go ahead. You said you're based on MLT now, and there's yep. at least one other working MLT editor called Shotcut that seems to be fairly stable and functional. Do you consider trying to use that to like combine with Shotcut rather than build your own editor on MLT? Um, I think when we started the project, uh, Shotcut didn't exist. So we could have killed the project, maybe, and starting merging code there. I'm not sure that's the way when we want to go. We still want to, I don't know, we want to push this as a showcase rather than as a showcase of VLC. I um, um, haven't tried Shotcut, to be fairly honest with you, but you could also consider why did Shotcut started doing something and didn't merge with KD in life, for instance. So I, I guess it's a valid question, but that's a valid question for any folks out there. Uh, I think I had one other question back there, and then I think we're done. 
No? No more question? Okay, the question went away. So, well, thank you, and group picture now. <laughs> <laughs>